Hello everyone and welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I'm Yoshida. First of all, you guys, I am so excited. I posted a video Saturday, my cash stuffing of my $88 and I don't know what happened. <laughs> it must have got on the For You page and I asked for new subscribers and y'all came. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I really appreciate you stopping by. I really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, whatever. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope I continue to give you quality content that you enjoy. So nonetheless, let's get started. Um, for those of you that are new, I will do this quick intro. I'm Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist, nail tech when I feel like it. Um, I also run a Etsy shop and I have my own um website of stationary products i do budget inserts i do planner inserts um also just have some planner stickers a lot of functional items all that great stuff and when you ever get a chance just go check it out if you like so nonetheless let's get started so if you're interested in my paycheck to paycheck weekly uh check-in stay tuned okay you guys let's hop right on in um i hope that intro wasn't too long so we are doing our weekly check-in which is paycheck to paycheck for some and this was last week the 16th through the 23rd insta ink didn't come out i didn't see it so i basically played paid 902 dollars in bills y'all so that's why i was with 88 dollars and my actual was like 13 let me pull it out here hold on my actual was like $13.57, and I did a lot of eating out last week, y'all, a lot. I really didn't spend a lot of money, but I did a lot of eating out. When I went back and calculated, not just going out to eat food, but miscellaneous things, it was around roughly about 200 and something dollars, so that's why I had $88 left. So let's do a weekly check-in. I need to print some more, so um, here we go. Also, I did. I didn't add this to my. What do you call it? Um, iPad, but I need to. I do do a little budgeting on my iPad. I'm really not a digital girl. I am a pen and paper girl, so I'm trying to um, use the iPad, like especially with cash stuffing, because that way I don't have to keep printing the papers. So now what I'm doing is just going to my. August uh, monthly. I have that off to the side. And let's get on into this. So this is week four. Yeah, week four. And then I'm gonna put up a mark there. And this will be the 24th through the 31st. No, 24th through the 30th. Okay. All right. So I'm projecting for hair. Since this is a more um, busy week, I'm going to put 800 just to start us off. We'll see what it was. Um, Shopify. Shopify, I really, I guess because I've been doing small releases, I really haven't been making anything. I don't promote it like I should here lately. Um, I'm just going to put 50. And I have a planner that I think I'm going to sell. I don't know if anybody's going to buy that, but down here under miscellaneous, um, I'm going to do, there was something else I was, I know I got nails. I may have a nail appointment this week. Um, I'm just going to put 200 here. And we're at 1,050. So prayerfully, we don't have a lot of bills this week. So let's see, first up, something's due on the 25th and I believe that is Wayfair. Let me look, yep, Wayfair. And that'll be $29 to my knowledge. And then I have Canva down on the 27th, but I really think Canva came out before then. So this is my on the go, my A6. I'll check that, that lets me know. Um, also, 
because I normally write things down if something comes out. Apple did come out on the 19th. Canva, yeah, Canva came out on the 7th, so there's no Canva this week. I need to move that up here. We'll take it off for the 27th. 28th is car insurance. This looks like a light week, <laughs> but we never know. Um, and then I got to do my P.O. box because I did not do that. So P.O. box will be 71. Car insurance, it's been 213.33. Now, I don't know if I should put this down as a bill, but um, I've mentioned in my cash stuff and envelopes that I'm preparing for like two new businesses, really like three. And um, the other one I'm still <laughs> thinking on but I have a photo shoot for it and I just had to secure the place and to secure the location to do the photo shoot was $90 um I've already well I've paid the money they just haven't taken it so I'm gonna leave that off I don't think I'm gonna put that under bills because I'm thinking I'm gonna put that in a cash envelope but not sure uh that's not a bill. I don't think that's a bill. So I'm going to pay my P.O. box. It says the 29th. I'm going to pay it on the 28th as well. And then I have my booth rent. I think I left booth rent off last week. And that is due on Saturday the 28th. But I normally pay it my last day of work, which is turned to be the Friday. Okay, I believe this is it. So let's do some calculating. $513.33 so far. I don't know why I feel like I'm forgetting something. But what I usually do, if y'all don't see me do it, I'll go back and add, and then I'll just white out um, whatever I'm forgetting. So let's take this 513 and subtract it from this 1050. It's 536.67. So I normally put that here, 536.67. So this is pretty much what we have to put at debt, sinking funds, and cash envelopes. Um, for debt, I'm working on my Barclays. So I'm just gonna put Barclays over here. I wanna give them 50. I don't know what the balance would be. Then I'm gonna move down here to sinking funds and I'm gonna put a up under here, because I don't have a space, I'll put, subtract that 50 from that 536. Something's not right. Okay, it's 486. So that gives me an idea on my next paycheck to paycheck. Okay, sinking funds. Y'all, I've created so many sinking funds that I gotta actually look at them. You guys, I made a new binder. We all saw this one, so this is what I did. So I'm gonna go to this debt. Um, for my challenge, I know I wanted to give it 260 to bring me up to um, 1K. Um, I'm gonna put 200, okay, one and five. Um, I'm just gonna put 10, cause I don't know, I never really know with that one. Um, Christmas gets 60 this week, 60. And savings. I'm gonna give that eight. IRA, retirement will get five. Emergency fund will get five. Okay, so 
I'm just I'm just using the binders to look at what I did. Oh, and then I did this one. So this is pretty much where I'm at. Nail supplies. I don't have my other smaller one. Nail supplies. We'll get a dollar. Household, my God, household. This is really cash envelopes. Let me, I'm gonna go through that. Household. It's down to cash envelopes. This needs a lot because I need cleaning supplies. I need paper towels. I need everything. More plugins. I need it all. Um, I think we can afford 50 for household. Business supplies. So this is where that's in the boss moves though. So boss moves up here. Both moves needs a hundred because I still have to pay the photographer. I gotta pay that off. Um not doing the 52 week challenge. And Bentley, he's down here. I put him down here. Um, he'll get five. And I think what I'm gonna do with the challenge is move it to vacation or either savings because we may not be going on a vacation until next year we may be moving it i'm just hoping and thinking so if we do i'll put the challenge into my savings so that i'll have my you know 1k and then joe gets nothing blue fence gets nothing and that's oh self-care 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 will get 10. um go up here Destiny will get another five. Okay, let's see. And then we'll decide on where to make this money work. Y'all, there was a time when if a week like this, I would blow probably $500 on bath stuff. <laughs> and I did get some bath stuff today, but I had to slow my roll. I didn't spend as much as I usually do. So that is $394 here, 394 subtract 486, 67, leaves me with 92, 67, 65, 65 here, that's 50, 10, 5, something wrong. Hold on, 486, 67, subtract 394, that leaves you 92, 67, subtract 65, 27, 67. So we'll have $27 left. Um, we'll probably do our envelope challenge, the one, um, the 100 envelope challenge. I'm going to put that here because we start that this week, I forgot. So that's $27. Now we just need to find some way to put the $0.67. Cent. We'll put the $0.67 cent on households or Bentley. We'll put that on Bentley. So now $0.67. We'll add 27 to 394 to get a um, zero base budget. 421.67. All right, y'all, I am still trying to figure this out, okay? I'm still working with my numbers and in the, event that I don't make this amount of money, then I'm really thinking something's 
not going to get something because I didn't do my miscellaneous, which is me just when I pick up a soda or some chips or, you know, whatever. I've already gotten gas for the week. Let's just do the math, okay? We'll go from here because we may have more. So, our total income is 1050 our total in bills came to $513.33. Let me zoom in. Okay. And then $513, let's go ahead and add it up. So, 150, excuse me, 1050 subtract 513.33 equals 536.67. That's our number here. So over here, we're putting $50 in Barclays. So we subtract 50. That leaves us with 486.67. And then all of our sinking funds came up to 421.67. So we're gonna subtract 421.67 from the 486. That leaves us with $65. Wait a minute. Okay, shoot. And then we'll take the 65 here. I don't know what happened to it. So we're at zero. So we have a zero base budget. I don't know what happened with the 67 here. I don't know how we got 67 here, but here we are with our zero base budget for the week. And if things change, then I will definitely update this. So here in the notes, I love a good note section on a budget because there are some things um, I need to add. So miscellaneous spending. And I need to get some vinyl. My other things came in. Um, book. I'm putting booked photo, lo photo shoot location. Put some dots there. Put photo shoot location. Um, purchase some vinyl. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is still considered uh, boss moves. Did I put boss moves? Yeah, boss moves gets 100. And it may not even get that because I'm considering like adding this to a couple of weeks because I have a credit card. Um, I got to just go on vacation. I know it's crazy. So I think I'm going to use that to get some of the new inventory items. And then that way I can pay myself, well, pay it back uh, right away. Okay, you guys. So I hope you understood this budget. I'm just going to run over it real quickly again. I project to make $1,050 this week. Um, my normal bills for the week come up to $513. Um, my miscellaneous spending, I didn't put in here. But if there's something extra that will go to it, if not, I'll take away one of these categories. The first one that probably would go would be boss moves because um, I've already really kind of paid this right here. So this will probably go to miscellaneous. Matter of fact, let me make this miscellaneous because I've already paid um, for the photo shoot. So I'm just going to mark out boss moves and put miscellaneous. You know, see, my budget is real. Like, it, it's not cute. I don't can't do too cute because I need it to make sense. Um, so yeah, so with our sinking funds, it came up to 421.67. We're giving Barclays 50 to bring that um that total down because I am in the probably negative on that credit card with due to interest. And then cash envelopes has $65.67. I did air quotes. So I'm going to put that right here, right after August, so I can get to it. And then as I pay things, I will come back, mark them off. Um, we'll do a review of the week next week. You'll see when I do my paycheck to paycheck. So I like to do this budget on Monday to start me off in the week, write down my intentions for the week, what I intend to pay and what I intend to have paid, you know, get done for the week. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
Again, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by, chatting with me in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. So if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also smash that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.